So you've made a great decision by choosing to watch this video. In this video, I'm going to teach you every single thing I know about manifestation. And in this presentation, I have included not only one or two, but three different books, which I have read over the years and have drastically changed my life. I want to also introduce you to the concept of metaphysics. <clears throat> metaphysics is pretty much, as you can see here, metaphysics delves into the connection between thought, emotion, and the material world. Metaphysics delves the connection between thought, emotion, and the material world. I'm very passionate about metaphysics. Um, I've always wanted to understand how people have been able to manifest success and live successful lives and be influential and build businesses and do great things. So seven years ago, I started reading books like Master Key System by F. James Hannell, which I'll be talking about in this presentation. I also read The Law of Attraction by Esther and Jerry Hicks. And I've also read The Secret by Rhonda Bryan. I hope one of those books, maybe one of those books or people you've heard about but not to worry, even if you have never heard about them, I have broken down the key concepts which will help you manifest your desired re reality after learning all this information, right? So, let's get started. <clears throat> Metaphysics, manifestation, and the law of attraction. That's what we're going to be talking about today. Let's get right into it. The role of desire in manifestation. So, I wanted to key in and get straight to the point and let you know that the reason why you have not been able to manifest those things that you want or you find people that say manifestation is a joke, manifestation is crap, this spiritual thing that people are talking about is nonsense. That's why I like to call it metaphysics because one thing that you can't disagree with is we are in a metaphysical realm. Like, why do you even think the company Facebook got changed to meta? That's part of the reason, right? But that's other news. Spiritual life and spirituality is not nonsense. If you want to change the terms, you can call it metaphysics. These are things that happen all around us all the time. And the reason why you are unable to manifest or you think manifestation is crap and it's not real, it's just a way for people to sell spiritual courses and whatever you believe. The reason why manifestation has not worked for you is because you think you can fake your way into it. But like I said in one of my previous videos where I talked about the laws of the universe, I mentioned to you that you can't fake it with the universe. You can't fake it with God. You can hide your thoughts and your emotions from me. You can hide your thoughts and your emotions from me. I can Maybe I can get a glimpse of how you feel by looking at your face and your facial reaction. But overall, I can't really see what you're thinking or feel what you feel. So you can hide it from me, but you can't hide it from God. You can't hide it from the universe. You can't hide it from the laws that surround you. And the most important one of those laws is the law of attraction, which we're going to be talking about entirely in this presentation. So the role of desire in manifestation the reason why your manifestations have not been coming to pass is because you don't truly desire them. So when you tell when when I teach a brand new person about manifestation who has never heard about manifestation, the first thing that comes to their mind is, okay, I want to manifest a Ferrari. So it's kind of like a joke to them. They see it as, oh, I want to practice this thing you said works. They see it as a joke. So they try, they close their eyes, they meditate hard and imagine a Ferrari. But they don't truly desire it so of course it's never going to manifest of course so in this presentation i'm going to show you that thoughts and emotion are very important when it comes to manifestation you cannot trick the universe the, the universe knows how you feel and it knows what you're thinking and it brings and shows you that through your perception and through physical reality, right? So let's get started. The role of desire in manifestation. 
Desire is the initial driving force. Desire generates the emotional energy needed to activate the law of attraction. So if you truly do not desire something, if I do not truly desire to start my business and quit my full-time job and go all in, I would not be successful today because I truly desired it. Everything I needed started to fall in place. Everything I needed to support me just came along and supported me. And I have not had a job ever since because I truly desired it. Two, focused feeling. More than just a wish, desire is an intense feeling that sets manifestation in motion. When you truly desire something, when you are truly hungry, who will find you? And then just take a moment right now and think about many scenarios where you desire something, like truly desire something. You desire to see somebody. You desire to hear from them. You desire to eat. You desire to get your rent paid. You desire something and boom, 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 boom. Somehow, somewhere, someplace, it just falls in line. Synchronicity just comes into play and it just works out. It all works out. Something you were worried about, right? Vibrational blueprint. Desires create the energetic template for future reality. Desires create the energetic template for future reality. Your desires create the, the reality you truly want. And one thing which we're going to dive into in the law of attraction portion of this by Esther and Jerry Hicks is that you also attract negative scenarios as well. So if you desire and you are fearful about a situation, trust me, that is going to come to pass as well. But if you are desiring something positive, a positive outcome, you desire for something to go right in your life, then nothing can truly stop you. I want you to understand this. So be careful what you wish for. I'm sure you heard that statement before. And those wishes are your thoughts. The thoughts that you are thinking and backing with feeling. Thoughts without feeling cannot manifest. So when you feel strongly about something, positive or negative, it is bound to manifest. So be careful what you wish for. Energetic signal. The intensity of desire propels the attraction process, sending a signal through the universe. The intensity of desire, when you feel genuine desire for something, the universe said, oh, I heard you. Working on that. <laughs> oh, I heard you working on that. Straight up. Negative. Oh, you want to fill this exam? I heard you working on that. Oh, you want to, you want to be nervous when you talk to this girl? I heard you working on that. Oh, you believe you're not you believe you're not confident, you believe you're not perfect, you believe you're not smart. I heard you working on that. The universe will respond to what you ask for. Simple. Let's move on. Now we're going to go into the first book, The Secret, The Power of Emotion, which is by Rhonda Bryan. You don't need to read this book. I've gotten the information that will change your life. The key points that you need to understand to desire to manifest your desired reality alignment of thoughts and emotions manifestation works when thoughts are aligned with emotional states particularly when backed with strong desire let me repeat manifestation when manifestation works when thoughts are aligned with emotional states practically when backed by strong desire when you truly desire something nothing can stop you but if you do not desire it, you give up, you quit. Why do you think videos like this keep popping up? Because you know you desire to change your life. You know you desire to learn something that will propel you to the next level, help you escape the matrix. Number two, magnetic power. Rhonda Bryan emphasizes the individual's emphasizes that individuals are powerful magnets in the universe, emitting energy through thoughts and emotions. So when you think and you feel in your heart that something is true, it will come to pass. So that is your strongest, that is your strongest 
power, your thoughts and your emotions. That is practically your only power. Because like I read in the master key system, which I am going to talk about a little bit in this presentation. The only spiritual aspect of you is your thoughts. And that transmutes physically through emotions. And you are an electromagnetic being. You vibrate and send signals all around you. Your heart pumps and your blood is filled with iron. And this should not be new knowledge to you. There's electricity in your body as well. You are an electromagnetic being. Three, emotional charge. Desire amplifies the energy of thoughts. Transforming casual thinking into deliberate creation. Desire transforms that energy. Like I said, when you truly desire an outcome and you think it positively, it will manifest because it is true. It is genuine. It creates. It's a force. It's an energy. Clarity and specificity. <laughs> Clarity and specificity. The clearer and more specific the desire, the stronger the magnetic pull on the universe becomes. Oh God, I want to pass this exam. I desire to pass. I really want to graduate, so I need to pass this exam. I desire it for sure. Then God says, okay, I heard you. How about you read this book? How about you watch this YouTube video? How about you do this? How about you do that? You just start getting ideas. The universe answers you ASAP. Like this. You start getting thoughts. You just stumble on a video that tells you about what you were looking for. Everything just starts. You, you meet a friend that talks about it. You think those are coincidences, but that is synchronicity. And we're going to talk about that soon. The Master Key System. Now, this is the second book. The Master Key System by F. James Hanno. You can check it out. You can read it, but you don't have to because I've gotten the points for you. Focus, Thought, and Desire. Harnessing Desire. Charles Hanno introduces the practice of focused thoughts and desire as essential for manifestation. You have to focus. What do you want? What do you want? One of my spiritual mentors, Bashar, talks about people are also passionate about negativity. Oh, I'm not good enough. Oh, I'll be okay if I just get 50%. I'll, I'll, I'll be all right with 50%. Then your result comes out and it's 50%. You think that's not synchronicity as well? Like I said, the positive and the negative will manifest. So if you believe you are not good enough, you will be not good enough. Simple. Two, foundation of endeavor. Desire is described as the strongest mode of action known to man, forming the basis of human endeavor. Strongest mode of action known to man. When you desire something, nobody can stop you. When girls, when, when girls desire to go party, even their parents can't stop them. They, they sneak out and they go party. So you can't truly even control anybody from their desires. <laughs> you can't. And the universe responds to your desire for sure. So you have to be careful what you're thinking and what you're feeling strongly about positive or negative mental focus hanel advocates for combining mental focus with emotional intensity for effective manifestation that is self-explanatory focus on something and put positive emotions into that thing with belief and desire visualization this is an important part vividly imagine desires as already fulfilled infused with passion Attracts necessary elements for materialization. Vividly imagining desires as few as already fulfilled. V vividly imagining desires as already fulfilled, infused with passion, attracts necessary elements for materialization. Simple. Close your eyes and imagine yourself let's say you want to be a musician you want to be a rock star right you want to be a rapper close your eyes and imagine yourself on stage your fans are rocking chanting your name boogie 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 
boogie. Absorb that feeling of who you've become in that moment and bring it to the present now. And walk like that every day. Take actions like that every day. Move like that every day. Think like that every day. The superstar you of the future, which is your desired reality, take that in and bring it to the present and be that person today. Make the music with that mindset. Make your decisions with that mindset. Your choices, your actions, everything should vibrate positively like you know you are a superstar because you've seen it, you've visualized it. Action, acting on your highest passion. You must act. Like I said, visualize it, desire it, believe it, then act. Act it, do it. Do the things that you will do if you were a superstar to move your career forward. You go to the studio, you record, you find new producers, you network. Think like that person. Don't think like the person you are now. Introduce yourself like that person. Don't introduce yourself as who you think you are now. Dress like that person. Move like that person. Go where that person should be going to manifest that reality. And, you'll, and the universe will be dropping ideas and thoughts in your head for sure. Inspired action. No, passion as a compass. The energy created by passion guides you towards your next steps in manifestation. Like I said, when you're passionate about something and you visualize your vision for your life, you just start to know the next steps to take. Oh, I need to go to the studio. If I'm an artist, I need to record. I need to go to the studio. I need to do my album cover. I need to promote this song. I need to create TikToks. Those ideas will start popping in your head. You start watching and manifesting videos of people telling you what to do and tips on how to move forward in your career. Inspired action. Act on what excites you the most. Aligning with the flow of the universe. Oh, I want to go to the studio right now. I think that would be nice. Move. Go find a studio. Go find somewhere to record. Go write that song. Go get inspired. Follow your excitement. Momentum generation. Passionate action sets the manifestation process in motion. Creating momentum. If you imagine and you visualize and you believe that you just go to bed, none of this is going to work. You have to act. And once you act, things create a ripple effect. It just starts, the ball starts rolling. You've heard that term before. Get the ball rolling. Get the ball rolling. Push it. Push it. Push it. Push it. High vibrational state. Acting on passion puts you in a high vibrational state, making you a powerful attractor. When you act on your passion, for instance, you post your first song. And you promote it. You make a TikTok. Oh, one person will be like, oh, wow. I saw your video on Instagram. This is really nice. That increases your vibration about yourself and how you feel. Somebody leaves a comment. Somebody leaves a like. Somebody tells you how you can improve. Somebody offers you a studio session. Somebody offers you to do your cover art. Things just start attracting to you because you've put it out there that I am an artist on my journey. The Law of Attraction. Now, this is the third book, which is The Law of Attraction by Esther and, e and Jerry Hicks. Aligning action and desire. Alignment of thought and emotion. Esther Hicks emphasizes that manifestation requires alignment of thought, emotion, and action. Manifestation requires alignment of thought, emotions, and action. When you are clear about what you want and feel good, your vibrational signals align with your desire. When you are clear about what you want and you feel good, your vibrational signal aligns with your desire. So if you are not clear about what you want and you feel bad, your vibrational signal aligns with what you don't want as well. I need that to ingrain in your head that you are creating no matter what. You are attracting no matter what. These are laws of the universe that are in place. So they are working on the positive and negative spectrum. Passionate action. Once desire sets the wheels in motion, act in harmony with that, with what excites you. 
Passionate action aligned with desires generate momentum, creating opportunities and synchronicities. We talked about before, right? When you start to act on those things, like I'm posting YouTube videos, I start to get people that are commenting on my videos. Appreciate the love, guys. I'm doing this because I'm passionate about helping you realize the truth that you can be great, that you are great, that it is all possible. So thank you for the love, right? So the synchronicities and the opportunities are presenting themselves to me. And it will also work for you if you take action on your desire. Trust the process. Take action without resistance or attachment to specific outcomes. I post videos and I can get 2,000 views. I post a video and I can get 10 views in one day as well. I don't care. I keep going because I know that in 10, in 10 views, I might have helped one person. 2,000 views, I might have helped 30 people. It doesn't matter. It is still all about helping people. It is still all about what I want to do with my time and my reality and the reality I want to create, my desire. This is how I desire to live my life and build my reality. So take action without resistance or attachment to outcomes. Trust that the universe will guide you on the next step as long as you keep following your passion. Self-explanatory. I've explained that in previous steps. The trifecta of manifestation. Desire, belief, expectation, action. Desire. The initial spark that ignites the manifestation process, creating a strong emotional charge. Like I said, it won't work if it's not what you desire. Some people think they desire a Ferrari. Meanwhile, they just desire people to notice them. I hope you get that. Belief, the foundation that supports your desires and showing you feel worthy of achieving them. You can't have a desire and believe that you are not good enough to achieve it. I've, I've met millionaires that say, yo, I'm not smart. I just did it. I just started doing it and I, and I figured it out along the way. I got to university and when I got to university, I was like, wow, this is university? I used YouTube to basically pass through university. I learned everything about every class on YouTube or Google. Every single thing in university. And I was like, this is university? So everything you actually even want to know is out there. Expectations. So why don't you believe in yourself before I move on? Why don't you believe in yourself when you can just start doing and learn along as you go? You don't have to be perfect right now. You don't have to know it all right now. Just start and learn and make mistakes and learn from those mistakes as you go. Expectation. The mindset that allows you to live as if your desire is already manifesting, creating certainty. Be expectant that I know that as an artist and I want to be a superstar. So I know that I want to record and I want to make music. And I know that I'm taking the necessary steps to reach my desired outcome. So I can only expect it to work out. You are taking inspired action. So with inspired action comes a certain expectation. Like, yeah, I was inspired to do this. So for sure, at some point, I'm going to get my desired outcome and build my desired reality. Action. Inspired, passionate action that grounds your desires into physical reality. Aligning with the energy of your desires. So when you desire to be a superstar, a musician... A business owner you take those steps to build the business you build your website you talk to people about it you build your products you design your products you add them to the website you do business cards you start giving them out then one person calls you and says wow i'm interested can i buy this one and you say yeah and they buy it why are you shocked you were inspired you took passionate action on your desire in physical reality and it started giving you synchronicities it is not rocket science. It is facts. Practical steps for manifestation. Step one, clarify your desire. Know exactly who you want to be. That's how I'll put this one for you. Know exactly who you want to be and why. Two, visualize with emotion. Imagine desired outcomes with associated feelings. Put yourself in that scenario like you've accomplished it. You're on stage with 50,000 people ready to watch you perform. 
soak it all in the nerves the feeling of excitement that you finally made it and bring it here that energy and become that person today and let go of all the rest of the outcome of the thinking of the rest step three align your beliefs ensure that your beliefs support your desires release limitations Believe in yourself. Stop doubting yourself. No one is better than you. We are all humans just like you. Every single person. Even the person you look up to, the celebrity you look up to, is just a human being that took inspired action on their desire and their beliefs. I've met celebrities. And because of my confidence and the way I approach them and Talk to them like they're normal people, even with respect, though. I get that mutual connection that, yo, you're just a human being as well. And they treat me with respect as well because I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not choking on, on their meat. No diddy. Take inspired action. Step four. Act on your highest passion to the best of your ability to. You cannot take it any further. Keep making songs. Keep posting music, keep creating content, keep designing products, keep designing shirts, keep designing pants, keep posting on your website, keep creating new fashion, keep telling people about your business, keep following your passion to the highest ability and to you cannot take it any further. Step five, expect the best. Maintain positive expectation and trust. Trust the laws of the universe. Trust that God meant what he said when he said, Ask and it shall be given. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. Trust that. Have faith. Don't doubt yourself. Don't feel less. Keep studying things like this that teach you about who you are and the powers that you have available to you. Don't forget and drift and start getting distracted and watching things that bring you down and low vibrational things. Stay focused, stay impactful, <laughs> stay inspired, sorry, stay inspired, that's the best word. The importance of passionate action, active participation, manifestation is not a passive process. It requires both mental alignment and active participation. You cannot just imagine it, bring it to the present and do nothing. That is just dreaming. Two, alignment with the universe. Passionate action aligns your energy with the universe, attracting necessary elements for manifestation. Everything in this physical realm started with a thought. I explained that in one of my previous videos. Everything in this physical realm started with a thought. There's a light in front of me. There's a mic on my chest. There's a presentation that I'm presenting to you. There's... A water bottle on my table there's a wardrobe behind me there's a bed behind me all of those things were built from somebody's mind this house was built from something somebody's mind if you have something that was not created in somebody's mind please leave it in the comments and enlighten me please because everything started from a thought so align your thoughts with your actions and the universe will manifest it momentum creation acting on your highest passion generates momentum in the manifestation process if you do nothing nothing will happen if you do nothing you won't get to that point i was explaining to my sister this morning that jeff bezos started amazon in 2001 and it was a book store website and look at amazon today if he didn't get the ball rolling amazon will not exist or somebody else will be amazon somebody else Maybe Elon Musk will have started another company that will have been called something else. But the inspiration will go to somebody else for sure. Synchronicity. Inspired action leads to unexpected opportunities and synchronicities that support your desires. Like I said, when you do something, it's just funny how people will just be attracted to you to help you to... Like, even clients. There are clients that have gotten that one, one time, there was a client I got, and she was trying to sell me on her coaching program. So she invited me to a meeting, a free coaching session. I joined, and she asked me, oh, okay, so what can I help you with mentally? Is there anything you're struggling with manifesting? And I was just 
saying, mm, no, I, I know what I desire. I believe in myself. I am expectant and I'm taking action every day. And I've been making money. I was making 13000 a month already by the time she called. So I was just like, I'm satisfied. I'm content. I'm just... I'm just here to see what you have to offer. I said, wow, well, if, you're, if you're doing that, then you're doing great. So what do you do? I told her I, I have a digital marketing agency and I help entrepreneurs, coaches, and business owners make more money and market their services and get more customers, right? And increase brand awareness. So if you want to check out my business, the link is in the description. Beast Digital Marketing, we can help you with so many things and starting a business as well. If you want to start your business, Click that link and reach out to me ASAP and we can get you launched in a short, <laughs> the shortest possible time as possible, as soon as possible. So you have no excuse, pretty much. Conclusion, the power of desire and action. Desire is the seed. Desire is the spark that ignites the process of manifestation. Planting the seed in the future, the seed of future reality. You are planting that seed because you desire it. Oh God, I want to be successful. God has heard you. Okay, you want to be successful. You've planted that seed. Now I'm going to show you some things that will shake your reality. Aligned action. Passionate action. God says, oh, okay, you want to be a successful musician. Here is somebody that is a musician and knows a good studio. You just find a friend that knows a studio. And you say, oh, guy, I just came from this studio. And you be like, yo. I was just thinking about starting music. You're like, wow, okay, yeah, I can introduce you to him. This is his Instagram. Synchronicities. Things just start to pop up in your reality because you desired something different. Manifestation realized. When you desire, you take action and you believe with expectation combined, the universe responds by turning thoughts into tangible experiences. If I didn't make this video or any of my previous videos, my 1300 subscribers right now shout out to you guys i appreciate it 1300 i'm really grateful i've been on 1200 for a while so i'm really grateful it becomes tangible because if i didn't create this video you won't see it and you won't be learning all these great things that i'm teaching you right now pretty simple so this is all the manifestation knowledge you need to know and trust me when you start implementing this on a daily basis you'll be surprised what you learn and you start to do it more deliberately and create your reality more deliberately. And like one of my cool YouTubers that I respect, Neuro Knowledge says, spirituality without creating your reality is nonsense. Spirituality without being able to create your reality is nonsense. I learned that from Neuro Knowledge. So this is all you need to know. Thank you. Peace.